Welcome to All Life Mans TV. My name is Jake's Anemo. And here we are again. We have a little challenge on the board. It reads, find the quadratic equation whose roots are 1.5 and minus 1.2 in x. Here, the solutions are given to the quadratic equation. So, we are expected to work backward to get the questions that led to these two solutions. So, we proceed. The fractions or the answers are given in decimal fraction. So, we convert them to improper fraction for easy manipulation. So, 1.5, which is the first one, is same as 15 all over 10. And if we split this down, this will give us 3 all over 2. Because 5 can go into 15 and 5 can go into 10. So, 1.5 is equivalent to 3 all over 2. Secondly, we have minus 1.2. We do the same thing, which is 12 all over 10. And 2 can go into 12, and 2 can go into 10 without remainder. So if we do that, this will give us 6 all over 5. So we are going to be using these two fractions in place of 1.5 and minus 1.6. Sorry, let's include our minus sign here. Now, minus sign here. All right. So, the question says we should find the quadratic equation in X. So, we are going to equate these two solutions to X. So, this now implies that X is equal to 3 all over 2 or minus 6 all over 5. Alright, now we can take the first one alongside with x, take the second one alongside with x. So this means x is equal to 3 all over 2 or x is equal to minus 6 all over 5. Very easy. Now that we have this, like I told you, we are working backward systematically. So just listen and watch what happened. We are having the constant on the right hand side. Move it from the right hand side to meet with the x on the left hand side. Do same thing here. So dx will now become x minus 3 all over 2. On this side, you are left with 0. Here we have an invisible plus. So when it crosses the sign of equality, it turns to minus. Then, here we now have R, X. Here it is minus that is assigned to this. So, when it crosses the sign of equality, it turns to plus 6 all over 5 or equal to 0. At this stage, we group this and this together. Alright? So, this will give us X minus 3 all over 2. Close bracket, bracket, x plus 6 all over 5, all equal to 0. Confused? No, just cool down your mind. Relax, it is very simple, all right? Now, what we do here is to use everything in the first bracket to open the second bracket. In other words, use this x to multiply this x in the second bracket, the x again goes into 6 all over 5. We do same here and here. So, let me give you something that will give you a clearer understanding. So, this x goes to this s in terms of multiplication. Then, this x so goes to this side in terms of multiplication also. Then, minus 3 all over 2, we multiply x. And this same minus 3 all over 2, we multiply 6. Now, let us follow the arrow movement, okay? These four arrows, their movement, let's follow that down. So, x times x will give us x squared plus... Yeah, we use x to multiply 6 all over 5. This will give us 6 all over 5. 
x. Then we come to the second term now. Minus 3 all over 2 times x will give us minus 3 all over 2 or x. Then minus times plus will give us minus. Then 3 all over 2 times 6 all over 5. This is what we have here. 3 all over 2 times 6 all over 5. 2 we cancel 2 here. 2 we equally cancel 6 to give us 3. So we are left with 3 times 3 to give us 9 all over 5. So on this other side, here we're going to have 9 all over 5, all equal to 0. Very simple. So from here, we simplify this. So we take 6 all over 5x minus 3 all over 2x. Why? Because here we have x, here we have x. But mind you, we cannot add this x squared to this x because this is, a, this is having a different power. It's invisible one. Why this one is having two as the power? So the only one we can add uh, these two here. So that means dx can go into dx. So if we add that, we are saying 6 all over 5 minus 3 all over 2. Take a look at dx. Here we have... 6 all over 5 minus 3 all over 2. We look for the LCM of 2 and 5. This will give us 10. So 5 into 10 will give us 2. 2 multiplied 6 will give us 12. Minus 2 into 10 is 5. 5 times 3 will give us 15. So 12 minus 15 will give us minus 3 all over 10. So we can impute that in place of these two expression. So we have minus 10. So we have this to be x squared minus 3 all over 10 x minus 9 all over 5 or equal to 0. All right. Now let's look at this. We are almost there. But when you have something of this kind, Clear up the denominator. And how do you clear up the denominator? You look for the LCM of the denominators and use it to multiply all the fractions you have here, including the left-hand side. Because according to the law of equal equation, you say whatever you do to the left-hand side, you must do to the right-hand side. So this gives us the LCM of 10 and 5 is 10. So we have to multiply this by 10. Multiply this by 10, multiply this by 10, multiply this by 10. So if we do that, this will give us x squared times 10, put it in bracket, minus 3 all over 10x times 10, put this also in bracket, minus 9 all over 5 times 10, put it in bracket, all equal to 0 times 10. Now, something special is happening here now. Something great is happening here. 10 is here, 10 is up here. So they can strike out themselves. Okay, 5 is here, 5 can equally, equally go into 10. So if we do that, 10, we cancel 10. 5 here, 1. 5 here, 2. Then 0 times 10 will give us 0. So from here, we now have this to be 10 x squared minus we are left with 3x 3x minus here we are left with 9 times 2 to give us 18 or equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation given this rule q e d all right so this is our final answer Okay, 10x squared minus 3x minus 18 or equal to 0. This is all I have for you for today. And if you are gaining value from our teachings, from our lectures, drop it in the comment section by giving us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel so that you'll be among the first that will receive the videos, our new clip, whenever we drop new videos 
online okay once again my name is jake's animal thanks for being there